Whoa! Wait, was that Morse code? Yes. Yes, it was. And uh, that's going to play a big part in today's game, which is full quiet. And uh, this is actually a newer, it's a new NES game. Just released. Just came out on July 7th. And uh, if you don't have a Nintendo Entertainment System to play this on, then guess what? You can play it digitally on your Xbox, Nintendo Switch, or PC. And I do believe it might be coming to PlayStation later on. But yeah, let's, let's get into this because uh, this is a good game. This is a, not only a good game, it's a great game. All right. What's the best way to describe Full Quiet? It's, if for those of you that grew up Nintendo kids, no NES games, let's, let's just say it's, it's Zelda 2 mixed with Contra gun, Gunplay and an uh, open world Metroidvania game with a little bit of survival horror mixed in with it. Yeah, it, that's a lot to take in. And if you're scratching your head at the open world comment, yes, it is open world. And how they achieved it in, a, in this simple NES game, is, it's pretty amazing and it's pretty crazy. Um, to navigate this open world, you have, you have two maps. You have this one map that just looks like a drawing and it has flags all around it for where the campsites are and whatnot and then your second map is grid style so that way it has the cardinal directions on it north south east west those two maps will help you out a lot and this game doesn't hold your hand but it does have a lot of stuff to inform you on what you need to do and yes one thing that will help you on the way is a digital manual Yes, I highly suggest pulling this up when you first start the game. It has the controls in it. It has items in it that you'll find. It has other weapons in there that you'll find as well. Uh, enemy descriptions, you know, uh, has a little hand-drawn map in there, which, you know, you can access that through your uh, item menu anyways. A Morse code translator because this game... You're going to come across radios that you're going to need to put in Morse code. Um, digital manual. <laughs> Pretty, I'm, I'm glad they kind of included it because this game does not hold your hand. There's no tutorial. so. But you got to think about it. This game was built on NES hardware, so there was only four buttons on the NES controller. Go figure. Uh, not only digital manual help you out, in the game, along the way, you'll come across notes left by Pap. And these will read these, and they'll help, they have clues in there of what you need to do. And you can always access the notes through your uh, item menu as well. Okay, let's jump straight into the story, uh, graphics and gameplay and music yeah so the story uh yeah you're you're here looking for your son who went missing uh he was helping with the grid to silence the forest and the grid went down through seven radios so now you have to restore those seven radios and that's all i'm going to say about that because you definitely need to play this because yeah, it's great. Uh, the gameplay that I've been showing is only within the first 30 minutes. And let's just say uh, shit gets crazy after the first 30 minutes or so. Um, it's a little difficult at first. But once you understand the mechanics and everything. And that you need to get to either the safe houses or a campsite to save your game. To save your progress. Then... It'll get your hook in you, and you're like, man, where has this game been? Why was this not released back in the day? <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it really is It really is pretty damn cool and impressive 
that all this game is actually playable on an NES cart. So you can play it on your NES. It's it's nuts. It really is. And the graphics. As you can see, it's easy on the eyes and it looks good in motion. And take a still picture, it looks good in that as well. Uh, everything's detailed and it shows. This game was five years in development and you can tell that everything has been finely tuned. Whenever you're firing your weapon, it's, it's crazy. Whenever you're firing your weapon, you can see the muzzle flash reflected on your character. That's how detailed it is. And not only the graphics, the sound effects and music, it all fits in nicely. The, the music, it hits when it's supposed to, sets the mood. It's, it's all good. It's top tier stuff on the NES. Man, I just can't get over it. Like, if this came out back in the day when I was growing up, man, oh man, I would have a field day. Okay, so let's start wrapping this up. Uh, so what is this modern modern day retro game would run you? Well, if you're buying it digitally, then it's going to be $9.99. Yeah, 10 bucks, Man, $10. Throw it down. It's on Xbox, uh, Steam, and Nintendo Switch. Ten dollars, and yeah, I think it is coming to PlayStation soon as well. Uh, not only digitally, you could get it in a physical cart form, so that way you can pop it in that NES, good old Nintendo Entertainment System, fire it up and play it that way. And they have two editions over at Retrotainment. That's that's the people who developed this game. All right. So they have two editions over there. It's a regular edition and then the limited edition. The regular edition it has a green glow cart to it. Looks pretty snazzy. And then the limited edition has a silver cart. Crazy. You can get them as I think you can get the uh, regular edition, which is the gr the green glow. You can get it a cart only, or you can get it in a complete in box with a physical manual as well and then the uh, limited edition silver cart one will also have a limited edition box it just looks different from the regular edition and manual as well but yeah hit them up if you want that i'm thinking about grabbing one because that green glowing one is calling my name <laughs> all right now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Yeah, what am I going to score this game? Since it's a NES game, you know, you can play it you can play it on modern platforms or you can play it on your NES. Um as I've said before, this game is crazy good and in my opinion, it is now a top tier NES game. Uh there's there's not much bad there isn't anything bad to say about this game everything's everything's on point this is a game that my younger self back in the day would have absolutely enjoyed figuring out um it probably would have taken me a little longer but uh this is a damn good game it's very it's very impressive on what was achieved for this it's playable on an NES cart. That's to me is the craziest thing on the scale of what this game has accomplished. So I don't have anything bad to say about it. And with that being said, myself, the disgruntled gamer, I want to give this game a 9.5. Yeah, that's right. A 9.5 and it deserves it. And if you're a retro gamer, if you grew up on if you grew up as a Nintendo kid, you're doing yourself a disservice by not playing this. Play it however whichever way you can. If you don't have a if you don't have an NES, 
and you only have a PC, go buy it on Steam. Go buy it on Xbox. Go buy it on Nintendo Switch. $10. And you're not going to regret it. You're, you're absolutely not going to regret it. I guarantee it. And lastly, I want to give many thanks to uh, Mr. Hartman over at Retrotainment and them providing the review code for me to do this. And I had an absolute blast playing this. I'm telling you, $10, play it. And you know what? If you got an NES sitting around collecting dust, plop down the money to get yourself a fiscal card. You won't regret it. And you know what? Well, that's it. That's it now. Oh, guess what? It's the weekend. What are you going to play? Play full quiet. That's it, man. Get out of here.